congratulations dun sa nominations mo. Ay, sa nomination mo. Um, can you recall uh, the challenges nung ginagawa mo yung pelikula? ML. Yeah. Um, being tied down to the chair for hours was really hard. Uh, it was more of like a physical... Uh, uh, the physical aspect to it and uh, si Derek, we learned nga naman kami na maging mahirap talaga kasi it was an indie film so you know we were really tied down to budget cuts um, we didn't have a lot of we didn't have an option na to have a lot of breaks kasi we had a certain certain amount of sequences na kailangan talaga namin tapusin in a day so I totally understand that but with all of that said it was really fun you know and it was a good experience for me and that was my very first movie so um, it's always I feel like your first will always be like really special to you so that movie is uh, very dear to me at nataon pa na yung co-actor mo dun ay yung malang kapantay I know. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I I had to choose that film. I had to choose to work on that film because um, not everybody gets the chance to work with a legend, you know. So, I mean, I don't know. What was your reaction when you heard about your co-actor? Uh, well, actually, sobrang bago pa lang sa Pinas when I heard about you, Eddie. But I already knew that he was a legend. And every time I brought up his name, everyone was talking about all his work. So. So, um, for me, I, I was really excited that, and, and I knew I could learn a lot from him just by doing scenes with him, and which what, I did. And what was the most important that you learned from him about being an actor? Um, it's really the eyes. Uh, he told me, you know, you don't have to act big, you don't have to act any specific way. It's just, you can tell a story through your eyes as long as you're being sincere. <laughs> Um, uh, last question, ko ano pa yung mga aabangan namin sa this year? Uh, well, I hope everybody can keep watching Sino May Sana uh, every day on prime time after General's Daughter. And I have a movie with uh, Regal, which is um, Henel Sona Sumuko Sa Love. And then, um, oh, uh, Ang Babae Sa Septic Tan. Uh, kakatapos lang namin yun, which will be showing on I Want. Pero hindi ko pa alam yung release date nun. And then, I have some upcoming projects oh. na secret pa. Pero abangan nyo na lang. Father's Day pala bukas, pahabol na question ko. How did uh, Eddie come across as a father to you? At least as a working, you know, as a working relationship. Well, to be honest, uh, then he played my torturer, so I didn't I mean, really see him as a father figure. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, but he's a really nice guy. I mean, si Tita Eddie, uh, si Tita Eddie, he's a, a a quiet soul now. You know, uh, he is an older man, but it's weird because he comes across quiet, pero mahulit pa rin siya and he has so much energy and life and stories to him, you know. You talk to him and he'll happily engage in good conversation. So, it was really great working with him. I, I love I love older people, if I, if I may say that without any disrespect. Um, they're just so wise. You can always learn from them, you know. So, and...